electricity generation started in Nigeria in 1896, although the first utility company, the Nigerian Electricity Supply Company, was established in 1929. By the year 2000, the popular National Electric Power Authority, that's NEPA, was in charge of generation, transmission, and distribution of electric power in Nigeria. It had a total generation of 6,200 megawatts. Fast forward to 2005, when the Electric Power Sector Reform Act was enacted and the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission was formed. There was also the creation of the Power Holding Company of Nigeria as a transitional corporation that comprises of six generation companies, 11 distribution companies, and one transmission company. Now, with all these reforms and changes in the sector, many still say that the request of Nigerians is still the same as it was before the 21st century, more electricity supply. So, on this episode of Victory, we ask the question, did Nigeria take a wrong turn in its power reforms over the years? That's what we're about to answer on this episode. You're welcome. I'm Ili John Mekwa. It's five years since the privatization of the power sector was completed. A process which led to the unbundling of the National Power Utility Company, NEPA. In September 2014, about a year after the privatization, Power generated in the country hit a two-year high of 4,044 megawatts. By October 2016, 4,600 megawatts was recorded, although on the 17th of May 2016, the transmission company of Nigeria announced that electricity had dropped to 1,400 megawatts. In March 2018, the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, announced that as of December 2017, an all-time high power peak generation delivery of 5,222 megawatts was reached, while it had presently generated capacity of about 7,000 megawatts. Even if those who are most vocal in condemnation when the situation appeared very dire, are now offering only muted acknowledgement that it has improved. We must continue to draw our inspiration from the well-meaning and right-thinking Nigerians who graciously acknowledge that it is getting better. They acknowledge that they are saving money from diesel because they now buy less diesel for their generators. They acknowledge that they are running their generators for comparatively shorter hours than they used to in the past. For 2018, a document on Nigeria's power sector performance states that by the 7th of May 2018, Nigeria had recorded a loss of over 1.6 billion naira as a result of the unavailability of gas, distribution and transmission infrastructure, as well as water reserve challenges, which have led to the World Bank's findings that an estimated 41% of Nigerian businesses generate their own power supply to augment the national grid supply. Now, my generator is on, I'm using fuel, and powering my generator. So, all the time, every day, I budget not less than 3,000 naira for fuel. Knowing that one hour for NEPA or power supply light, then I can use the rest of my fuel for the rest of the acts. So it affects the business so much. And when you try to put the cost on your customers' uh, uh, work, it will become something difficult. Don't you enjoy electric in this Nigeria at all? Every two, two minutes, they are taking nap. They are taking light. Even they can take light from our town for two to four days before they bring it. Those people are using electricity, a weather, a weather you go to a cool room, they can't use it. Without you buy fish inside the cool room, you cannot enjoy the light. So tell government that to do, to do whatever we like, to do what we like, whatever we like, to do it. We get our supply on a basis. Probably the supply today, tomorrow they skip, the other, the other day the supply. But even the days, days are supposed, supposed, supposed to be meant for our own turn, we don't even have the lights. And even when the lights will be supplied, it will be at the time it is of no use to you, probably very late in the night. 
and before you wake up around 5.30 or thereabout, the light is taken. This area is independent cloud, but what we have in terms of power is nothing to write home about. Sometimes they attempt to tell you that they shear it. Me, I don't understand the modality in which they are using to share the light. But the important thing remains that we pay what we don't consume. In May 2018, another disruption to the power supply came in form of rainstorm. States like Ekiti, Rivers and others were terribly affected. Power supply fell by over 1,000 megawatts from over 3,000 megawatts. The rain just stand after 2 to 3. But it started blowing some kind of breeze, which we don't even expect. So all of us, we are under the tree. So the moment we see that the rain is coming unbearable, so we ran inside the car, then we drove off. So during that time we were driving, all those things we are seeing along the roads is beyond our imagination. Because the ice was very big and the breeze was something X. So it falls some trees, spoil some property, for some building on the road. So they said that I for some three or four posts on the road. So we have to stop and park our car to find a way X. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to our customers, you know, to be uh, very, very careful this time that we have uh, is rainy season, you know. We know lines could trip here and there, so they have to be safety conscious. You know, once they have issues with electricity, they should call the nearest uh, uh, office, and that is our own office uh, to them. But you shouldn't touch any naked cable because if you do that, you might be endangering yourself. Still in May, fire engulfed the Bini Electricity Distribution Company substation at the Koloba Junction in Delta State. Also in Alagban substation in Lagos, which came as a result of an explosion. That transformer that you see has only one feeder, and that feeder is being transferred to the Mobitra. So that's all. So the customers of uh, Equal Disco that are on that, cost uh, on, that, uh, on that feeder will now start taking their supply from the Mobitra. That's all. Uh, currently, in this substation, we have uh, five transformers. The five transformers consist of uh, three number 60 MVA and then two number 66 MVA transformers. One of the 66 MVA transformer which has problem was actually one of the transformer that was refurbished recently. It has an old transformer that was refurbished. Uh, I think it was commissioned into service in June last year. So it's the transformer that caught problem. Now, before now, what uh, the Abuja Disco is taking in this place is less than 50% of the transformer capacity. So now with the failure of this transformer, Actually, we are just transferring the load to the next transformer. The Mobitra is only having 28 percent. The load on this transformer, the transformer that had problem, is only 20 percent. So we are transferring it to uh, to the Mobitra. 